what was different tonight where, you know, not only did Indiana make the 23s, but also to get the 60 paint points? Yeah, um, probably I would say just our disposition. I mean, it certainly wasn't one thing, but uh, just like our, you know, being intentional about really protecting the paint, um, making multiple efforts. You know, like you said, stuff we've been doing pretty well, but definitely took a step backwards. Now. And um, a, a few days ago, Spo said it felt like the floodgates for this offense um, like was on the verge of, of opening. Um, what do you see as far as the shots you're getting, you guys are getting from three point, you know, on threes and what would you pinpoint to kind of the regression in that area this season? Um, I think, I think we're getting good looks, uh, you know, there's definitely uh, areas for improvement uh, just in terms of ball movement, player movement um, and everything. And, you know, it's, it's not anyone, being selfish or anything like that. It's just about, you know, finding that connectivity and that rhythm, um, you know, which sometimes it, it takes seeing a couple to go through, you know, to, to really build that. So, um, I mean, I think, I think we all agree that, that we're right there. You know, we got a lot of guys that can take and, and make shots. So, um, you know, it's only a matter of time, but you don't just want to sit back and, you know, be uh, just kind of passive with that stuff. You got to try to find the work for solutions. Next, we have Ira Winderman. Duncan, you've been at this long enough that you guys kept saying during the winning streaks, don't let yourself get too high. We still have work to do. Conversely, after a couple of rough ones like this, how important is it to get your heads back because you got the same team again on Sunday? And, and frankly, you have a tough schedule coming up with the Suns and the Blazers and the, and, and the Hornets. So how important is that? I don't want to say to push this aside, but to learn from it and get better from it in a hurry. Yeah, well, exactly that. You know, we're come in tomorrow and, and learn from it. Like you said, uh, you know, unique opportunity and that we have them right here at home again. So, uh, you know, if we don't learn from our mistakes in this one, then, then we're foolish. So, uh, yeah, like you said, you know, we got a tough stretch coming up. So obviously dropped the last two in, in pretty disappointing fashion. Uh, but, you know, just got to keep pushing. Thank you, Duncan. So next we have Barry Jackson. Hi, Duncan. I know you addressed the three-point shooting a bit earlier. But considering the good shooters on this team, is it surprising to you at all that you've gone from top two in the league collectively as a group three-point shooting last year to bottom six in the league this year in terms of three-point percentage? And has Rob tried to change technique of any of you guys? Because all of you who have seen a decline are basically good shooters. Yeah, you know, no, no one's breaking anything down uh, all the way down or restructuring anything from a mechanical standpoint, um, maybe, you know, little tweaks here and there, but we were doing the same stuff last year. Um, in terms of, you know, going from top two to, to bottom six, um, I, I've, I didn't know that. I've said I didn't know that, you know, we're not shooting the ball um, or I'm not shooting the ball personally um, as well as I, I did at times last year. But, uh, you know, it's, it's just about continuing to, to stay the course, you know, continuing to put in days. Um, hand, handle the work, handle the reps, um, stack good days on top of each other, and uh, the mix will come. You know, uh, you try not to get too down uh, in moments like this where shots aren't falling and too high in moments where everything's going in. You know, just stay even keeled and, and keep pushing. And one last quick thing, impressions of Trevor. You had probably seen him a lot growing up, just having him as a teammate. Now, first impressions, Duncan. Uh, great, great, great guy. Um, consummate professional. Uh, somebody who's who's definitely going to be impactful um, in, in more ways than just on the court. You know, obviously his ability speaks for itself, and you guys are all familiar with that. But uh, just his presence already has been felt for sure.